I want to share something that happened to me today. Um, so today I was wanted to take my son to the pool. And so normally when I take him to the pool, I grab my swim bag and inside the swim bag, I usually keep his uh, swim goggles and his little mouthpiece that he uses to kind of go under the water and swim. And so we grabbed the bag and he asked me, he said, mom, are my swim goggles in my bag? And I said, well, let me look, let me check. And so I checked in the back and I noticed that they weren't there. So that's when we started kind of looking through the car looking everywhere for, and I'm like, that is super weird. I'm like, where are your swim goggles? I'm like, we always put your swim goggles in the bag. I don't understand why they're not in here. And so my son was like, let's just go down to the pool and let's check and see if they're at the pool. He said, I think I might've left them at the pool. And I'm like, but that's super weird because normally when I usually take my son to the pool, I don't forget his swim goggles. I usually put them back in the bag when we leave. So I'm like, all right, well, let's go down to the pool. So we drive down to the pool, get to the pool. We look around, goggles nowhere to be found. So at this point, I'm thinking, all right, you know what? I want him to swim with some swim goggles. So that means I have to make a quick run to Walmart and go grab some real quick. And mind you, I'm in my swimsuit with a crochet uh, swim cover up on. And so I got a two piece on. So it's my my swim, my cover up is a little bit too uh, see through, excuse me. And so I'm like, oh, dang. I'm like, I don't feel like putting a whole bunch of clothes on. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna zip to Walmart. I'm gonna like be in and be out. So get over to Walmart. I'm like, PJ, walk behind me because I don't want nobody looking at my behind. So he's walking behind me. I get into Walmart. I'm zipping through. We get to the back of the aisle. We start looking through the swim stuff. And I'm trying to find the goggles that I had last time, but I couldn't find those. And the ones that I wound up finding was one that had flippers with them. And I'm like, oh, I really don't want to body. So I'm like, all right, this will work. I'm like, let's just grab something, get up out of here. So as I'm walking back up the aisle, a short white lady with some kids walks up to me and she said, excuse me. She said, I know this is super weird. She said, for me to ask you this, she said, but can I just talk to you for a minute? And so now at this point, I'm like, girl, I'm trying to get up out this store. I ain't got barely got no clothes on. I don't want nobody to see me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yes, I'll be kind of step over to the side. And I'm like, yes. And she basically tells me that she's a single mom who's recently divorced, her husband recently left her and she has two kids. And she says, I don't normally do this. She said, um, but I wind up being staying at an extended stay. And she says, so far a church is helping me. She said, but I've, I'm kind of running short on some money and I need some money to kind of make up for the rent that's there. She said, the church provided this amount. She said, but I need a little bit more. And she said, I don't normally ask for money. She said, but I, I really need help. And so now I'm thinking at this point, like, I'm like, what an odd thing to be happening to me in Walmart. And I'm like, as I'm literally just trying to zoom in and zoom out of here. And so I'm like, well, miss, I don't have any cash on me. And she's like, well, I have cash app. I said, okay. I said, um, I said, you know what? I was like, I don't even have my phone on me because I left my phone in the car. So I'm like, all right, well, just, you know, exchange number. She's like, I, I was like, I'll give you my number. And I was like, just text me your cash information. And I said, you know, whatever I have, you know, I can provide, you know, help you out with. And she said, thank you so much. Um, she said, again, she said, I know this is strange for me to be asking this. I said, well, I can definitely understand. I said, because, you know, it ain't to have the guts to just walk up somebody and ask them for money. You know, that takes a level of humility. I'm like, especially me who ain't got no clothes on barely. And, you know, most people tell me I have a very, I can have a very serious face. So imagine me just tall girl, serious face, zooming up and down the aisles, trying to leave, you know, and here you want to come ask me for some, a donation. I was like, but just text me your information and I'll see what I can do. So I get back to the car and I'm driving down to the pool, back to the pool. And during the drive, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, Lord, what should I do? I'm like, I want to help. I said, because it's, it's not about whether I wanted to help or not. If it's a single mother, it's I didn't want to be taken advantage of. And so I'm like, you know, what should I do? And then all of a sudden it dawned on me. What if this is the reason why you went to Walmart? And I thought about it for a minute and I'm like, because let me tell you, I always keep track of them goggles. And I'm like, why of all days, this is the day that I can't find my goggles. And I think to myself, you know what, let me run to Walmart today. I wasn't even planning on going to Walmart. And I, as I thought about it, and the more and more I thought about it, I said, Lord, what if this was a divine appointment for me to, to bless this lady? And, and so I said, you know what, Lord, regardless of what's in her heart and what her intentions are, 
I believe this was a divine appointment. And it's funny, I prayed earlier for God to order my steps this morning. And so when I thought about that, I said, you know what, God, I'm going to move by faith. I said, I'm going to believe that this is what you want me to do. And you put me for here at such a time as this so that I can be a blessing to this woman. And so I blessed her. And I want to, the reason why I share this is because y'all, there's either two people, two types of people in this world. There's people who believe in coincidences and believe in chance and believe in, you know, that everything, it, it just, it happened to just carelessly be thrown together. And then there's the other person who believes that there's a, something divine looking over us, watching over us, and he cares about the details of our lives. And he uses other people to to put them at just the right place at just the right time in order that we may see his goodness in this earth. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm that second person. And it blessed my heart to see how God orchestrated today. And I wanna encourage you, let me tell you something, there is a God, if you will let him, there is a God that will order your steps so that you can be a light and a blessing to those who are needing hope in this world. And I would say, don't knock the opportunity to be used and to be the tool that God's going to use to bring joy or bring hope or bring love or bring peace or bring encouragement to someone who's maybe on their last leg, to someone who's maybe about to give up, to someone who maybe they feel all hope is lost and they pray for just that right moment to say, Lord, please send somebody to help me. And you was that answer prayer. So be encouraged on today. I know I was blessed. Let me say something, regardless of what she do with it, I know that God is ordering my steps. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.